for example there is a large table in this of like right which is taking so much time to process or querying mm-hmm. uh retrieve some data yeah okay it's a big table okay so what are the optimization techniques that you apply on, on top of this table uh so since it is a bigger table uh first thing is uh, before creating the table we need to define the cluster uh, key on top of the table so this will actually help to to sort the data in the physical location of the table while storing so this will actually helps to retrieve the data in a better and efficient uh, way because if the data was in already in a sorted format it is very easy to identify uh, the when a particular uh, record that it needs to fetch and even for the range based queries it will work efficiently and also we need to apply the indexes on a proper column like frequently used columns are the filtering columns what are all the columns that we are using in the query so on that queries and on, on that columns we need to use the indexing and also we need to apply the query optimization like instead uh, instead querying uh, instead applying the select star you can select only the required columns so that will actually helps to improve the performance especially in the columnar based uh, uh, storage formats uh like in the snowflake also follows the columnar based uh, format so if you use the individual columns it will work better and we need to apply the proper a uh, proper partitioning strategies like we need to divide the bigger table into smaller uh, sizes so if you apply this partition uh, in the where clause of uh, your query so this will uh, try to eliminate the scanning data files under the system and also we can uh, use the a uh, cache feature in the snowflake so this will actually once you query the data it will cache the results so whenever you requerying the data same query again and again it will fetch that result from the caching and the next thing we can also analyze the execution plan like if you use the explain uh, to see the execution plan what is happening on the uh, back end like something like a query profiler if you see the query profiler you need you will get to know where the your query actually taking a long time so you can work on that part and you can eliminate the uh, bottlenecks and uh, we can also use more like deanalyzed uh, uh, format and on other rather than a normalized format because normalization format normalization uh, process it will add more joins but in denormalization format it will uh, reduce the joins and uh, if you can follow all this kind of a uh, methods uh, right so we can try to tune any sort of a query and we can uh, get the uh, data from any sort of a table there is some clustering what happens why uh, why it will help the performance so when you apply the clustering key on the table so this will actually help to improve the performance uh, by organizing the data within a table and specified columns uh, that is nothing but a clustered queries like what it does actually is like when we are storing the data internally into the disk it will sort the data and then it will uh, store the data so that in th- since it is a sorted format it is very easy for the system to identify which record that it needs to fetch out it will give you the faster query performance uh like it will reduces the amount of the data scanned by uh like eliminating the irrelevant micro partitions and also it can uh, help to efficient for range based queries like if you wanted to uh, get the data between uh, related queries it will be very easy and it also improves the data locality like it will store the related data in single block and minimizing the in basic input output operation during query execution and also it is good for storage utilization like it will reduce the data redundancy and optimize for the compression since it is a columnar proper storage format it will uh, for the storage also it will be very good so assume that you have implemented clustering but what you notice is the queries that were running before they were slower and but some other queries are running faster uh-huh. now what you do in this case if clustering keys uh, can improve the performance of some queries and the slow down the performance of other queries so in this case we need to uh, ensure that we need to review the cluster key uh, that what we have selected and uh, we should ensure that the key should align with the most frequent and uh, critical query uh, patterns and also we can have a, uh, we can choose the uh, multi clustering keys like we need to add the multiple column to the cluster keys to balance the performance and uh, uh, to balance the performance and the uh, data distribution 
and we can use the reclustering so if you use the reclustering it will rearrange the data internally into the system and uh, we can able to get the performance and also we need to see on the query optimization side like as i said we can go to the query profiler and uh, we can see what is the which part of the query is taking a long time while it is joining filtering or scanning so accordingly we need to apply the fix to uh, to tune that one uh, so if it is like you know uh taking more time like when we are scanning out the data we still need to apply some sort of indexing and some sort of a partition kind of a strategy that we have to uh, ease it out there like uh, the more filters or more uh, partitions you know are, can help you avoid reading the unnecessary uh, data of the partition and apart from this we can also uh, create some sort of a uh, different view from the table by uh, the views will be used by the further queries so that views we can uh, create some sort of a materialized view so if it is since it is a materialized view it need not to uh, rescan the data from the desk instead it will scan from the cache so you will get the better uh, performance and also we can uh, see uh, the performance of the indexes and uh, uh, and we need to observe the query performance and we need to analyze and uh, we need to monitor for a while and based on it we can wisely choose which column that we can able to choose though you applied all this kind of a uh, techniques and all still you uh, believe and we are seeing that your query is running slow then better we can split that table into the multiple tables and we can apply the uh, distribution or uh, we can apply the partitions and uh, uh, clustering key on the second table so that's how we can get the better performance of the uh, windowing functions yeah uh, yeah those stuff right yeah those like no. some kind of advanced functionalities yes correct i know about the uh, window uh, functions so those are analytical online uh, analytical kind of a uh, functions so basically these are like a row number rank dense rank and entire uh, first value last value and we can use the customized windows using the boundaries row uh, boundaries uh, queries yeah i'm uh, aware of all these uh, uh, kind of a uh, function so these are all basically analytical related functions that can be applied over a group of the values so that group we can uh, we we can do more customizable and then we can apply the aggregated uh, functions okay. okay this is small table Okay. Just an employee, which mm. has employee ID, salary, month, and year. Okay. Month and year. Okay. Okay. So I want to extract. Uh, I want to write a query okay. uh, that okay. will give me mm. the latest month's salary for each employee. Uh, we have a table employee table which is having the columns like employee id employee name employee salary and the month and the year so these are all the columns that we have and we wanted to identify the uh, each employee latest month salary in this case we can use the uh, row number function and we can get the latest uh, uh, salary of each employee like we can apply the row number uh, partition by the employee id and uh, order by year and month descending order and we can apply the uh, rankings so on top of this query an outer query we can select the the first very first record that is nothing but a latest record so on every uh, employee we can get the latest uh, uh, record that is nothing but a latest uh, salary so this is how we can able to write the query okay so how many records you expect with this query uh, so we can expect one record for one employee that is nothing but a his latest uh, salary